Hello guys, it's Darrell. I'm recording some basic videos for you. Um, sometimes I show you how I make certain garments, but now I'm just going to go through the program and show you how to get started in Clo. So let's begin in our user settings and uh, you'll see the screen when you open up the program. And up in settings you can click on settings and user settings now this is where you can change your screen parameters you can change uh, your unit of measurements you can change your uh, folders you can change your um, uh, keystrokes and um, all of the other things that go along with uh, you know user-friendly things for Clo. so right now you'll see that I have all of my um, my tools on the left side of the screen. This is something that I usually do so that I can see everything. Uh, so I can see all the tools that nothing is hidden. Um, but in the in the settings here, you can see under view controls, there are lots of options to uh, what your mouse can do and what you're going to be looking at on the screen. So right now I have my mouse set to regular mouse, but um, there are lots of drop down menus here. I suggest if you don't know what it is, don't change anything. Um, <laughs> so in your graphic, uh, in the graphic portion, this is how you're, you're actually going to see things on the screen. You can actually make new um, shortcut keys. And uh, there are a lot of shortcut keys that are taken. So if you want a kind of a quick view of your shortcut keys, you can go here and see what's set up in your shortcut. You could change it if there are some shortcuts you use in different programs that mean exactly the same thing. You might want to change the keys to be that, and that's a good idea. But you'll be doing that in uh, in your shortcut window. So you can just scroll through and see all of the different ones and assign them. If you try to assign a key that's already used, you'll get an error message. And I think I did that and then it will say uh, it's already used. So you just have to go through and kind of get an idea of what shortcuts are available to use. I think I typed in like a little comma or something and that worked. But I won't be using that so I just deleted it. So this is a way to, and I backspace instead of delete. So. <laughs> You just have to reset it. Um, so guys, this is a way for you to customize your work experience in Clo. Um, here is my uh, toolbar in the user interface, and I like it set to left. But if you set it to the top, that's what it comes in automatically. If you set it to the right, some countries are not reading left to right, or they're reading right to left, or up and down, and it, it makes a difference in your workflow where your eyes kind of gravitate to. So mine are set to the left, and um, and that's that. So there are other things in here that you can customize um, your font if you like a certain font, or if it's easier to read in a certain font, you can change it. If there are other parameters that you have as far as uh, so 3d triangle and quad we're gonna do a uh, there's a part in the tutorials about what the difference between triangle and quad is and um, your particle distance and everything you can change it directly from here so arrangement points and all that we're gonna cover just in a few few um, minutes in another video so this is where you have to really read and and know what you're doing in order to customize the experience all of the settings are basic settings that come with it but as far as particle distance it's usually 20 but I like to change mine to 15 um, just because I think it looks a little smoother while I am draping in Clo. and also I think um, it's kind of a you know less uh, it's a little smaller in the in the size so that it allows you to manipulate it a little bit smoother um, let's see so the default type arrangement or actual length da, 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 da. okay guys so I'm getting a little lost right here so I'm gonna get back on track and I'm gonna take you out of this um, interface but you can change a lot of parameters in here and you can also um, reset it so at the bottom left side you'll see there's a reset button that'll take you all the way back to all of your um, 
original uh, settings that come with the program. So there are plenty of other things in here for you to discover. If you have a specific place that you want to save your files, uh, like for me, I have to save mine into a different drive, not my C drive, not my main computer drive. So this is where I would change that. I would change it into uh, the file location that I choose. Just be very careful that you uh, don't forget that you change that. Or if you have to change other things into that file as well, um, I would do so here in this interface. And you'll see that there's also plugins and there's also close set with the plugins there are no plugins that I have right now so I'll show you that's empty so other um, enterprise formats they have plugins and you can download them and place them into the program they all come packaged in the um, in the program when you when you download your version um, here's where I sign into my close set or you can do online authorization which will just open up the website for you to upload your own um, saved files okay so that's close set which is going to be another video as well um, people are getting more into close set so as you can see on your 2d screen and your 3d screen in 5.0 uh, 0.162 there are lots of additions that were not in other ver versions and we'll go over that um, let's go over the windows right now so the window that's mainly open is your library window now your library window can be uh, extracted and moved around with this little button at the top left or it could be closed with the top right button on that module um, screen you can just click it and open it back up so you have your module configurator and you have your history if you have them all open yeah you won't be able to see anything on the on the screen but usually it would be one at a time that you would either need to have open at any given time or you can um, close one of your 2d or 3d windows so you can't see it right now but uh, underneath my little timer there are windows on the right hand side at the bottom that toggle your 2d and 3d we'll go through that in one second but over in your object browser uh, on your upper right hand side you'll see um, where you have all of the objects that you're using in your uh, in your clo project so you have anything between um, you know the scene the buttons the the buttonholes the top stitching any trims that you're using all of that will be in your object browser because they're all considered separate objects that go into your project um, and when you click on the object you'll see as I'm doing right now clicking on the object will open up your property editor at the bottom where you will be allowed to change the parameters or change the um, the settings to whichever object you're using these windows also can close and be opened with the uh, arrow at the top on the uh, top of the of the browser so you'll see that the little blue arrows I'm showing you right now you can toggle it closed or you can just toggle it off altogether let's say you're making a pattern and you don't want to see all that information you just want to see full of your 2d and 3d window and you would just close both sides so that's what I've done here to show you and down at the bottom like I said you can toggle on 2d completely 3d completely or 2d 3d so let's look at 3d complete right so you just be looking at your 3d uh, project if you click on 2d you'll just be looking at your your pattern side or your you know the flat side of your project with your avatar right now there's no avatar there we have an open one but if you want to look at both at the same time and usually people have it like this for sewing then this is what you would click so there are other options here which we'll go through um, once we're making a garment in the upper right hand side there's also another window that has your uh, drop down for your simulation for your different screens that you'll be in and we'll go into that in another video and uh, you have your colorway screen and you have another cloud that you can click on the little cloud with the C in it that can take you to the close set okay so this is basically um, your menus at the top are all there we're just gonna slide through so you can kind of read what they say 
and that's your help window and that's your settings window we can go through your language and your license information uh, your preferences controlling your gizmo uh, picking a gizmo because not everyone uses the same type of gizmo and you can also choose your camera uh, properties you can actually add cameras we'll do that at another point in the series so in your display we're going to talk about viewpoints in the next video the third video actually we'll talk about viewpoints if you want to just jump over there um, and this is basically all of your 2d and 3d um, environment changes you can add a background a grid all of that kind of stuff you can manipulate your grid etc so these are things that we're going to go through during our uh, process of training but i wanted you to see all the menus and all the options you can slow it down if you want to um, but right now all of these 3d toolbars are actually connected to the toolbars that are here so if you uncheck one like i unchecked simulation then simulation will be gone but if i go back to my display I'm back to my 3D toolbar and click simulation back on then my simulation button so if you want to narrow down the, the amount of buttons that you have on your toolbars you can do it in your display in your 3D toolbar or 2D toolbar because sometimes you don't use all of them for each project so right now um, we're going through the avatar and this is where you would delete the avatar you can physically click on the avatar and delete the avatar but this is if you have more than one avatar uh, in your project then you can delete all of them at one time instead of one by one um, there's a lot here about avatar measurements and avatar tape and avatar um, how to measure the garment and all of that kind of stuff which is in another video when we're doing measurements so materials um, all of your buttons and trims and top stitching and zipper and all that kind of stuff if you click on it uh, it will come up for you to edit it so um, you can do that there or you could do it in the property editor so hopefully you'll be able to click on uh, in your 3d window and find out how to do that so this is all your sewing buttons instead of clicking on the little sewing machines you can actually click on your B M and N sewing uh, options and if you don't know what sewing M or sewing N is we'll go over that in the next video when we're sewing a garment so the next one we have here is your 2d window and 2d elements so this would be pattern making things things that you would use to alter your pattern to uh, improve your pattern or actually add grading to your pattern so everything that's in the toolbar is actually in the menu it depends on how you want to use it and what's easier for you to find so sometimes it's easier to find up at the top menu and otherwise you just be memorizing what the actual tools mean and hovering over the tool and there's actually tool tips when you hover over the tools in the toolbar there are tool tips that will guide you uh, a little bit better so this is your editing and importing and uh, opening a new project which we're going to do in just a second and then we'll start making a garment so I hope this was a little bit clearer to you as far as the interface and some of the interesting things that you can do to customize it um, we're going to open up an avatar now and then we're going to start in our next video we're going to start making a garment and going through some of the other tools that you will use okay this is Emma. She's my favorite. Stay tuned for part two.